For the service members and veterans of the Charleston area, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs provides the necessary tools to help them succeed upon leaving the military. Resources include My Healthy Vet, VA.gov, the eBenefits Portal, and the Transition Assistance Program. We also have one-on-one -on -one assistance that our benefit advisors would provide so that if there is any confusion or things that they're not quite sure of, they can always go to that individual and have that conversation, get more insight, and just a sit-down one-on-one conversation with them to better explain it. Mr. Daniel Lindsay is a retired Air Force Master Sergeant at Joint Base Charleston who recently utilized the VA's resources to start the next chapter of his life. Services I use from the VA include the VA Home Loan and also the Disability uh, claims workshop. So they, I sat down with a counselor and he helped me file my claim. My experience with the transition assistance program was amazing. It was the best training I got in my 20 year career. Nonprofits also play an important role in ensuring a smooth transition for veterans. Examples of these nonprofits include the Wounded Warrior Project, Freedom Alliance, South Carolina Legal Services, and Palmetto Warrior Connection. Here's a quick review about some of the services one of the local nonprofits can offer. At Palmetto Warrior Connection, we provide employment, housing, benefits, education, mental health, and we do very small amounts of financial assistance. I've got a perfect candidate for you. This is Jeremy Kuba at Palmetto Warrior Connection. I was in the United States Air Force for 10 years. I miss serving, and this is my way of giving back um, to my country still, to be able to serve those who have served our country. And it really means a lot to me to, to be able to do that. Other veteran-friendly programs and organizations are available in the local Charleston area. Visit the Fleet and Family Support Center or the Airmen and Family Readiness Center to get connected today. My advice to veterans getting out of service is to always work on your transition. You can do 4, 6, 20, or 30, but you're going to get out. And you may get out sooner than you planned. So you want to take care of yourself so you can make that transition when you need to. Reporting from Joint Base Charleston Air Base, I'm Senior Airman Khadija Slaughter get out when you want to get out, not when they tell you you have to get out.